Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Grisantium here, where Ireland has its independence. Hello, Ireland. And of course, he starts out in our sphere. Our sphere is getting a lot of competition. And, uh, well, we're really hoping to get our influence up so that we can keep all these people in our sphere. Britain has devolved into the Workers' Commonwealth. Which is great, because it means they lost a whole lot of puppets. All their Indian puppets are gone. Oh shit, India. What the hell? British anarcho-liberals. This is such a stupid bug. British anarcho-liberals are in India. Even though Britain is, has no presence here anymore, there are still British anarcho-liberals wrecking havoc. God damn it, Britain. Get the fuck out of India. Didn't you learn? Anywho, we were talking with Twitch chat about how we can possibly go fascist without losing our sphere. And uh, apparently the things you need... Is it still there? No, it's not there. There's a, there's a console event that lets you do it. Let me look up real quick. Is it 600? I think it's... Yeah, 60030. And if you use that event, then it'll flip you to fascist anyway. And we did it. Uh, we saved and then we did it just to see what it was. Because when you do an event... In the console here, it shows you all the requirements for that event. So one thing we can't be is we can't be an absolute monarchy. So we'd have to switch out of, we, we'd have to go to an HM's government. Uh, and also, we would have to go upper house to ruling party only, and political parties to uh, only underground. So if we could get two of these reforms repealed, then we could probably go fascist. But it, it's more difficult than it sounds. <laughs> In fact, I don't even know if it's freaking possible. Maybe. Anywho, let's continue on. Hmm, Germany's really trying hard in the Netherlands there. How goes the whole recruitment thing? Oh god, tanks. We're recruiting 26 tanks. I love it. Go tanks, go! Probably recruiting some tanks in uh, China as well, and Korea. Very likely. Aha! We can now upgrade these naval bases. Good, good. Let's do that. They take a long time to build. 122,000 pounds. Wow. Expensivo. But totally worth it. You know what? I'm actually going to build my forts over here in China as well. Just in case China declares war, I want to have some type of defense over here. Even if it is just a token fort. It'll slow them down a bit. There we go. Oh, we're too broke. <laughs> we don't even have enough money for this. Wow. Oh, I know what to do. Tax everyone for just a minute. Wow, look at those funds. It's just a, a poor tax. Don't worry about it. Yes, we're taxing you because you're poor. That's the idea. Don't worry. You'll be fine. What is the Snow Leopard icon? It is the flag of Almaty. That's all. The coat of arms of Almaty. And wow, the game is really starting to chug now that we're towards the end of the game. From here on out, all the way until the very end of the game, it's going to just be ra really laggy. Hmm, Azerbaijan is not in our sphere yet, but they're very close. Brr, 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 brr. Siam, how are we doing here? Cordial, well, decrease. There you go. Portugal, decrease. Neutral, 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 neutral. Cordial. New Zealand, Netherlands. Oh god, Germany's right up my butthole. Hmm. I 
wonder if we can even beat Germany here. It looks like he's influencing the Netherlands faster than we are. That sucks. I might just have to give up on the Netherlands. Damn it. Yep, he just went friendly. Shit. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Well, we'll do our best. Russia still has rebels. Oh, they came back. Great. The nationalists? No, these are communists. I thought the nationalists might have come back. These are just communist rebels. All right. So we might see a Soviet Union. Maybe not. He has increased his military power, but I don't see... Oh, there's an army. All right. He does have one army. Huh. Not a whole lot, though. Oh, shit. Spain. What the fuck? That's a lot of rebels, Spain. You okay? What are these, communists? Yeah, communists. Man, communists everywhere. Ah, good. Economic responsibility, and we're just going to go straight for government interventionism. We need, we, we need the extra boost for influence just to keep our, our grip on these guys. Because you can bet your ass Germany has all those techs. Oh, shit. Japan is now friendly in the Netherlands. Oh, man, we might as well just give up. There's no way I can compete with Japan and Germany at the same time. Of course, I say that, and it looks like we're actually doing it. If we can get high enough, we'll ban Germany. Guy gets a 65. However, if he gets to 50, he could expel me, and we could lose all our points. So yeah, we gotta get to, we gotta get to 65 first. Damn it. Yeah, he's going to get to 50 before we do. So he's going to expel us if we don't expel him first. How about if we turn all these off? Can we get to... Ireland... What the f You're in my sphere! Why are you worried? What the fuck? We just... We just... Well, we almost went to war to get you free. We did get you free, and now it says you fear us. What the shit? Oh, no. Don't make me ban... Don't make me expel you. Okay, good. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. 64, 65. Perfect. Ban Germany. Oh, thank God. Still have to worry about Japan, but that gives us a little bit of a reprieve. Man, the Netherlands are really popular. Everyone wants them in their sphere. Whew. Anyone else to worry about? State industries fail. Our state industries have, for quite some time, been plagued by inertia and corruption. Okay. Uh, bureaucrats lose militancy or capitalists lose militancy. Capitalists. Portugal is very much in our sphere. Okay. New Zealand's getting there. Ireland is... No one's even investing in Ireland. That's great. They're one of the st strongest nations in the world. No one's even bothering them. Oh, I can click a button. Ah, okay. So here's something. And if we want to go fascist, we have to actually turn these around. Uh, we cannot go down here to gerrymandering. We need to go to only underground. And I'm not sure how we're going to get there. People are saying what we can do is to uh, encourage reactionaries in our highest population places. So if we encourage reactionaries instead of clerks, then uh, we might be able to increase our upper house to have enough reactionaries to turn back some of these policies. But I think at this point, it might just be too late in the game to try to go for reactionaries. That's too bad. I mean, it might, might be too late in the game to go for fascists. I don't want to do it through a rebellion. If we do it through a rebellion, we'll lose our whole sphere. So I think we're just going to abandon the idea of going fascist. Maybe we could just do it through the console just for shits and giggles. But, uh, I don't know. Yes. Free press. We have tons of Diplo right now. Make sure everyone's happy with us. Well, relatively happy with us. 
I wonder if it's going to be another crisis soon. Yeah, there might be. There are some rebels. Oh, Guangxi has crisis. What would this be? Doesn't even say. Doesn't even say what it would be. Just says there's tension. For what? I get this is Philippine independence over here, but what the fuck is this shit? Are there cores? No. I don't even know what that would be. Hmm. Ooh, the decline of the West and the lost generation. Not going to read all this, but uh, the effect is consciousness goes up. Okay. Aha, more, 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 more naval bases. Good, 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 good. Yes, keep finishing those naval bases. If only you would finish them quicker more quickly. Nicaragua has collapsed. Good for you, Nicaragua. How goes the Grand Nationalists over here? The Grand Colombian Nationalists. They're still winning. I wonder if they'll spread. Now, sometimes I see Grand Colombia spread, but sometimes not. The USCA has declared war on Nicaragua. I like it. I like it. So because they just collapsed, they lost all of their allies and they got unsphered. And that means the USCA is now going to go in there and re them. Good job, USCA. Good job. India still has not built an army, so I'm going to have to babysit. God damn it, India. Build an army. For fuck's sake. You can't gift people money. If I could gift him a bunch of money, maybe he would build an army. But uh, I can't. I just can't. And it looks like... Japan is going to sphere the Netherlands. Unless I do something about it. I get the feeling Japan is going to sphere the Netherlands. He's really, really up there. Wow. That is crazy, but fair, I guess. Nice bonus for our tanks. Good, good. Looks like no one's bothering us in New Zealand. That's nice. All right, there we go. So just before he spheres them, we're going to expel Japan. Get the fuck out of there. Phew. Man, that was close. He got to 98. He got to 100. That would have been a sphere. Oh, there we go. That was the quickest annexation of Nicaragua ever. They are now gone. <laughs> Welcome back to full strength USCA. <laughs> oh my god, Britain has collapsed again. How many times are you going to collapse, Britain? Oh, and now he's back to just Great Britain. He's a democracy with the Communist Party now. Okay. Aha, New Zealand. Increase, there you go. The USA has intervened in the Argentine liberation of Corrientes. So because Brazil, you probably can't see it very well, but Brazil has rebels everywhere, uh, communists. And because Brazil has rebels everywhere, Argentina has invaded. And they've actually sieged up some land. Oh, no, they haven't. These are just rebels. But yeah, Argentina has invaded, but Brazil is apparently friendly with the USA. Yeah, friendly. So the USA has joined on Brazil's side.
Anyway, relations please. And how's things in Serbia anyway? Serbia. Still neutral, huh? Okay, good. Keep it that way. Revolution of Britain again. Again. It's just a normal occurrence now. People expect revolutions in Britain. They're like, oh, this again. This is fun. Yeah, let's rebel again. Woohoo. <laughs> and we're about to finish our last bonus for influence. Then we'll go back to probably military techs. Let me check on our industry again. This needs to be automated, paradox. Hopefully when VIC-3 comes out, which they haven't even started working on yet. They're working on HOI-4 right now. But hopefully when VIC-3 com comes out, they'll have a little better automation, or automation options for factories. Like maybe set a threshold, and once you reach that threshold, then allow uh, factories to automatically be upgraded. Crisis in Latvia. Okay. Yeah. I'm all for Latvia. Why don't you get uh, Crisis for Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, which would just be a huge chunk of land. But sure, Latvia would be one state with uh, not a whole lot of population and no good resources. But we'll support it. Why not? Put me in, coach. Russia wants my side. Hell no. France is going to back him. France should back Russia, I think. Oh, no. France did not back Russia. Nobody's going to back Russia. Oh. Huh. I'll back Latvia, sure. It won't matter, because no one backed Russia, so there cannot be a crisis. It's just a weird bug system. A very, very stupidly bugged system. But there it is. It's the system we have. It is the system that we have. Portugal is neutral everywhere. Good. Siam is neutral everywhere. Good. Ireland is neutral everywhere. Good. Just making sure nobody's really influencing my shit. Okay, there we go. Our last influence bonus. And now it's done. Nobody can influence any more than we can. Good. People will go over some factory upgrades and da -da -da, blah, blah, blah. Admin efficiency, tax efficiency, blah, blah, blah. Our economy's okay, I think. I say that as we're losing 3,000 pounds a day. Um, might as well go ahead and get the next military tech. Although it won't actually help us for a while. Nah, let, let's skip it. Let's go somewhere else. Uh, more railroads. There you go. Hey, first to the South Pole. Gain 115 prestige. Our intrepid explorers have been the first to plant a flag or raise a flag on the South Pole and have brought glory and prestige to our great country. Good, 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 good. What's with the economy? What what suddenly changed? Oh, is it because we're way over our... It's probably because we're way over our ship limit. Well, tell you what. We'll cancel whatever cruisers are building. There we go. Now we're under the ship limit. We're still losing money. Well, we can unfund the Navy for now. Wow, what, what changed? Something drastically changed in our economy. What in the world changed? And now we're back to making thousands of money a day. I don't even know. Anyway, repay the loan. Whatever. It could just be because, it could just be because we queued up some stuff to build. India, do you have an army yet? Nope. India still has no army. Dude! Build a fucking army, India! Jesus Christ! Christ, build an army. He 
He has queued up units everywhere, but he refuses to build them. And Portugal still has not put down his rebels. Come on. Dude, kill your own rebels. Hey, war exhaustion goes down. Plurality goes up. Good. We've been expelled from the Netherlands. Oh, for fuck's sake. Screw you, Japan. I was just about to sphere them. I should have banned Japan when I had the chance. It's going to be too much competition. It's, it's hard to pay attention to... It's hard to pay attention to so many different nations that we're influencing at the same time. The AI can pay attention to whatever the fuck they want, but as a player, it's kind of limited. Hmm. Oh, we're finishing some naval bases. Good. Yeah, something really changed with our economy. Like, really drastically. We're, we, we had taxes a lot lower than this, and we were making money just fine. Something changed. And it's not just ships, either. Although, that's probably a big part of it. I guess we don't need to fund the ships when we're, in, when we're not at war. Yeah, okay. Persia's got rebels again. Ah, oh, fuck. Germany's no longer banned in the Netherlands. Oh, man. I don't think there's anything I can do in the Netherlands. It's just too many places to focus on at once. That's too bad. I mean, we're influencing just about as fast as Japan, but it's not enough. Oh, Japan has discredited us. Okay. Britain has collapsed again. Oh my fucking god. Yep, welcome back to the Workers' Commonwealth. Dude, just... Holy shit, Britain. And he still won't release Canada. Britain, just... Wow. Fucking hell, Britain. I would love to get Netherlands, but it doesn't seem like it's going to be very likely. Oh, and Germany dropped us down to cordial in the Netherlands. Thanks, Germany. Hey, communists. Hello, communists. All right, hunt rebels. Yep, everyone is set to hunt rebels. Check in Korea. There's a couple in China, but there's none in Korea. All right, hunt rebels. Go for it. Oh, look, rebels are dying. Poor rebels. We thought we had a chance. You didn't have a chance. What would the communists give me? A shitty flag. The communist flag is shitty for the, for the Byzantines. The fascist flag is great. China and Japan are allies. Interesting. Okay. China is now ranked 10 in the world. Kill them all. Make them all die.
Yeah, China and Japan are allies. You like that? Certainly interesting because China has cores on a bunch of Japan's sphered nations. So I would not be surprised if they went to war. The thing is, China still has tech. What what tech? What are you up to, China? Tech 6. China has tech 6, and Japan probably has, like, tech 20. Yep, tech 20. So Japan would just wreck China. Even though China has, like, three times the units, it doesn't matter. You know? How are we doing in the Netherlands? God, we're so far behind Japan. Portugal is pretty much okay. I can stop influencing Portugal. That'll free up a few more points to go for Japan or for Netherlands. Wow. There's some money. So Japan's at 50. He's probably going to expel us again. Or maybe he'll just charge straight for the sphering. Who knows? I can't imagine Netherlands being in Japanese sphere, though. But I guess it's possible. Attend the 5th Olympic Games. Of course we'll attend the 5th Olympic Games. Thanks for the free prestige. Aha! We now allow maximum railroads. Great. When does this unlock? 1914. Okay. Let's see. Precious metal production, iron and coal output. Steel production, semi-automation. Cheaper factories, more expensive factories, tea production, oil production, coffee production. Factory efficiency sounds good to me. It'd be cool if these weren't prestige. There's just so many prestige techs. It's just dumb. Prestige, 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 prestige. Who the fuck cares about prestige? Give me the fucking input and output efficiency. How close are we to the next national focus? We're pretty close. Let's go ahead and tech that up. And we'll go for the next national focus. Rebels are pretty much done, right? Uh-oh. India rebels. Take them out. Indian pan-nationalists. God damn it. Go somewhere else with your pan-nationalism. British fascist rebels. Cool. Yeah, we got the rebels under control. Oh. Except these guys. I should probably put you on auto hunt. You know, in case we get rebels up here. Just neglect the British Isles. What could possibly go wrong? It's not like you have any factories out there. Why is Portugal just ignoring his rebels? What the fuck? Weird. You know what? I'll send a couple guys down there just for shits and giggles. Dude, you're in my sphere and I don't have access in your nation? What the fuck? There we go. I'll kill your rebels, okay? Because you're, you're stupid. You're standing right next to them with the big army and you're like... Duh, what? Duh. Hmm. Britain still is trying in Siam, just not very much. Time to cheat and go fascist? Well, we could. We could. Aha! Naval base is good. Priming the pump. 
Loan interest. Don't care. We barely ever take loans anyway. USA has released Hawaii. <laughs> Welcome to the world, Hawaii. What the actual fuck? But they didn't get all of the Hawaiian Islands. They only got this one county. The rest of the Hawaiian Islands are still American territories. Okay. Weird. God, these things are so expensive. 122,000 pounds. Demonstration turns sour. Socialists or... Re oh, there we go. Reactionaries. There we go. Reactionaries. Yes. The rich people become reactionaries. That should be the the upper house, right? And if we can get the upper house to go reactionary, that may allow us to turn back some of these things and go fascist. Maybe. We'll see. Cross your fingers, people. Come on, money. Give me more money. What's this? Oh, was I banned? I was banned in the Netherlands. Thanks, Japan. Just ban me. So we're working on New Zealand right now, and that's it. All right, focus on New Zealand. Get that done. How's Australia doing? Can we actually sneak that in there? We are not banned. All right, let's go for it. Doesn't seem likely that we'll get it, though, because it's Austria's... Oh, no, he has a couple other spheres. I was going to say it's Austria's only sphere, but he has a couple others. Mouse over the only ruling party and check how close it is to get that reform. How do you check how close it is? Oh, you're talking about based on the upper house? 21.4%. How can we make that more? We just need more reactionaries in the upper house, probably. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for joining me, guys. I've been Shen, you've been you. We're burning off our infamy nicely. Uh, hopefully we'll get another crisis sometime soon. Oh, yeah. Fucking give me those crisis, baby. If we can get another crisis, we can get into a war, make some demands. That'd be nice. I really wish India would build an army, but he seems interested in not building an army. In fact, that seems to be his pastime. He is, he's allergic to armies. <laughs> Fucking primitive. He got released as a primitive nation. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.